am back in Nashville. It has been such a crazy month of just traveling back and forth from here to Texas, but I've been loving it and also exhausted. Yesterday, my flight was at like 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I flew in, Mark picked me up, we got some groceries. I literally just came home, showered, rested a little bit, not even just like got ready. And then I had a show last night at the Westin Hotel rooftop. It was like a private event um, with one of the bands that I'm in. And oh my gosh, it was beautiful. Like I had never been on that rooftop and it was absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't believe I had never even seen it. I went straight for my gig and then got home late. Mark played last night too, pretty late. So we've just been like going, going, going. It's kind of like a busy season and I love it. Like I will take a busy season anytime because I know in the winter it everything kind of slows down. So just like doing the most, just doing my best. Um, I'm still pretty tired. I'm gonna make a coffee. Mark and I woke up at like nine, which is pretty late for us. Yeah, like nine. 9.30. He played till like 2 in the morning, so he must have been way more tired than I was, but um, yeah, man, I was just so exhausted. We got up, I got up at 4 on Friday, 6 on Saturday, 5 on Sunday, 3 a.m. yesterday, so like it's just been very, very early mornings, um, and so I... I'm pretty okay with waking up <laughs> this late. Um, but we went to the gym. It's already, I can't believe it's 12.30 and I feel like I, I'm just like barely getting my life together. Today's like a full blown reset day of like laundry, cleaning, the house is kind of in shambles, um, coffee. It's pumpkin season, baby. Nut pod, pumpkin spice. Just truly a full reset day. And then I actually have a gig tonight with another band that I'm part of, so that should be fun. Oh, I should take my, I should take my collagen. I've been pretty like up and down with my supplements, but when I'm home, I'm taking my Kalo Nutrition, Inflammation, Soothe Digestion, Collagen. You're supposed to take it first thing in the morning, um, but I take it usually after my workout. Yes. So I have my collagen, I got my coffee, all the liquids. Got a PR package that I have to show you guys because I think it's kind of hilarious. It's from Paris Hilton, which icon, so hot. She has a new album and they sent over a actual CD, which is iconic. Like, who sends CDs? I love that. Also sent over this like cute little transparent bag, which is perfect for like a festival or something. Um, and they sent over some lip glosses, but I have them in the room. And then they sent over a letter that says prospective student for Bad Bitch Academy and like a whole letter. Class of 2024 at Bad Bitch Academy. So your girl has been accepted. Also, I got these boots in that I ordered from Amazon and I have been on the hunt for some beautiful like red burgundy boots. We all know that's like the color of the season. And there's these Jeffrey Campbell ones that I really want, but they're like almost $300. So I found these on Amazon as a dupe, and oh my gosh, they look they look kind of brown. They're more like a brown red, which I'm okay with. I'm still probably gonna look for like red, more like red boots, but these are gorgeous, and I love the square toe. Like they look super identical to the Jeffrey Campbell ones, and I'm in love with them. I love, I tried them on, they fit perfectly. They did take a couple weeks to get here, but worth the wait and a fraction of the price. I will link these down below. I'm so obsessed, like I have a problem with the color burgundy. I love that color so, so much. My car is burgundy, like my love of red has returned. Okay, took an everything shower. I'm feeling better. I just like moisturized my entire body. And now I'm gonna put some curlers in my hair. I just ordered like a fresh batch from Amazon. They were like $6, but I truly just like, I washed my hair yesterday. So I don't wanna like truly redo the whole thing. I'm gonna try not to. So pull back from Amazon, put these babies in my hair. I love that it came with like a little travel case. Like that is, I don't know why we ever stopped using hair rollers because 
I think they're amazing. <laughs> they truly are. They're so easy to use and they're so cheap. So I'm gonna clip up gonna clip up all my hair and see what happens. Okay, we did our best. Honestly, the girlies who know how to do this, I just have so much hair. Like, I need more rollers. So that's why I ordered more, but yeah. <laughs> I look like a 1950s housewife right now because I'm wearing this like polka dot dress. Shines. So last night I kind of freaked out and ordered a new comforter and it came in overnight this morning. So I got this comforter from Amazon and I ordered a duvet cover. Just like ours is so like, it's just so gross. Like I've washed it. It's from Target. I've had it for a couple of years, um, but it was just like not, we need to wash it and see like if we could reuse it. Um, but I was like, it's time for a new comforter. It's time to like restyle the bed and like figure out the vibe. This is fine for now. I ordered a duvet cover that's going to be a little more like beige-y so it's not like so white but I really want to give it like that hotel vibe if that makes sense. I'm actually going to go pick up a dresser right now that I just got on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it may replace this one. This one's just too small or it'll either go upstairs. I can't really decide. I feel like when I see it then I'll know what I want to do. Um, but we just need, we like really need a dresser. On our way to pick up a dresser! Dresser! We need a dresser so bad. Like, why are they so close to that? These people swear these speed bumps are like... Loaded the cargo in the back. <laughs> Mark just said demure, so I wish I had filmed that. <laughs> but you didn't, so it didn't happen. It did happen, babe. Ah! All right, got the big old dresser. It's pretty heavy, so I don't know how we're gonna get this. This is gonna be interesting, uh, getting it down. You ready for an adventure, babe? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the spider. <laughs> about, oh, I don't know if like anything with wheels would help this. Get it toward the end. Okay. I got it. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna slip. Uh. Just get a good grip. Uh -huh. You're just gonna walk back. Okay. One, okay. two, three. You got it? Careful, don't slip. It all the way there and then flip it. Lower it all the way down. Yeah. Oh! Something broke. Lower it, lower it. Okay, but I'm just scared of my. Let me know. Get as low as you can on that side. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna pick up my end. Okay. So it's gonna get heavy on that side. Ready? One, two, three. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's what. I'll have to glue that down. <laughs> Against the wall? Yeah. Damn! We did it! That was heavy. That was so heavy! Cool. It, it looks nice. It does look nice. With the TV at least. I think it needs to be a hair. Actually, like a hair this way. Just like a... Which way? I just hate the black wires. How can we get rid of that? Uh, they have these like tubings that you can put against the wall and you can match the paint. Oh, okay. Good morning, sunshines. Okay, so it is the next day. We got our lovely dresser installed. I need to organize like the top and like actually do a little decor moment and then. I can show you guys the bed as well. Let me put down this coffee. So this is what the bed looks like now. I really wanted to update the bedding because it's been the same for the past two years. And I'm thinking I might add some different pillows or change it up, but we got this comforter. It's just like a down comforter from Amazon and it was so comfortable. We slept in it last night and I was like, this is amazing. We also got new sheets that I put in 
also from Amazon and it was just, it was time. Like updating your bedding is a very underestimated value, if that makes sense. Like if you wanna just immediately feel like your space feels brand new, just like getting a different comforter or maybe a duvet cover, like switching it up, like really, really helps. Maybe adding like a couple new pillows, like it's a whole different vibe. Also, I'm so in love with this dresser. So what I didn't realize is that it's just two, like two drawers. So th these two are like two big drawers, which was kind of off-putting at first, but then I was like, I have so much, like this is all like PJs and like t-shirts and then like I have undies and bras in here. So I was like, actually that's fine and I really don't mind it. I love how big this thing is. It was so insanely heavy, but I love that it's refurbished. I love that it's real wood. I love the whole concept of it and I love how big it is and how much space it is. And again, like I need to organize this because I have so much jewelry that I really need to find like a jewelry box or like organize my jewelry better. I already have several of them. So I'm like, I just, I think I need to get another one to kind of organize myself. Kind of blacked out and then just started organizing like all my jewelry. Like I feel like I need a good clean out, but like it's so much that I start to overthink it. But anyways, I organized this and I organized these shelves. So let me show you guys. I pretty much just moved this over from my shelves that I have over there. I kind of just wanted to like organize my jewelry and perfumes because like I use them every day. So I put all the jewelry that I use kind of like daily. This is my daily like hoops, um, rings in this like cute little shell and my earrings and things like that. Things that I'm like daily use. And this shelving unit still needs a lot of work, but I kind of tried to just like clean it up and throw away stuff. I just, I need to find better containers or like a better way especially those two things. I feel like I wanna just get a completely different cabinet for it, but I kinda of cleaned it up. I definitely organized like all my jewelry up here cause this was like a bunch of random stuff. And then I organized my jewelry box. Um, this I got from Target like maybe a, a year ago. Um, and I kinda of threw away like a bunch of things that I just like never use or wear or that were super old. So I can kinda of start to have like just so I can kind of start to have like a little more organization, but it's still looking rough. And there's so many wires and like, tried to clean up my like desk area, but there's just so much going on. I feel like this weekend, like I'm gonna really just like take piece by piece. I need to do the bathroom. I ordered like a cabinet that I'm hoping Mark can build before he leaves this weekend. Good morning, sunshines. Today is Saturday. So it has been kind of a crazy couple of days. I did not vlog at all yesterday, it rained all day. And I took Mark to the airport in the morning at like 4 a.m. And then I was just like doing things around the house, went and did a little, a little bit of shopping, um, mostly browsing. I was like just walking around yesterday. It was so gloomy, I just like had to be out of the house. Um, and I was like a little bit in my head, but Today's Saturday. Tonight is my show at City Winery, which it like really doesn't feel like it. Probably because it's so gloomy and rainy and like everything's been getting canceled. The show is indoors, so it thankfully it hasn't been canceled, but it's just kind of crazy. Like the weather has been insane because of the hurricane. Ooh, a nice little workout. I have to make some returns and I think I'm gonna get some groceries. I'm thinking about going to like the Nashville Farmer's Market, but I don't even know if it'll be open because of the rain. I should probably double check that. Okay, we are here at the Opry Mall. Ever since I locked myself out of my car, I have to like make sure I'm locking my car with the key and not with the door. You know what I mean? I can't tell if like the camera's focusing. home with my grandma curlers in but honestly I love them I curled my hair um, using like a different technique kind of something that I did in my last video in El Paso um, but I wanted to kind of really confirm the curls especially because it's raining I'm on day three of hair so I was like let's just like do the best that we can I'm getting ready for my show I'm getting ready for my show now I want to show you guys what I got from 
the mall. I really didn't go too crazy, but I just wanted, I picked up a couple of pieces. Okay, actually starting off with this oversized hoodie, I got this from Target yesterday. All of my zip up hoodies are literally cropped and I just needed like one long one and I have one from Amazon, but it is so thick. And this one I can like actually like function in and I feel like I can also travel in. I got this fur jacket from Target. Target has some really, really cute jackets right now. Like I was having a field day. Oh, I think I might go back and get this like trench coat that I saw as well. They have some cute stuff. And I really just wanted to get like a super cute fur coat. I don't have like anything this color. I had ordered another one from Amazon, but I had returned it. It was like way too big. And this I feel like is a great size. It's kind of like oversized obviously, but like not completely swallowing me. The brand is Wild and Fable that you see all the time from Target. I tried to look for it online, but I didn't see it. So definitely check your local Target. I've been wanting a darker denim shirt situation, more to be like an over shirt. And I got this in a size small because I got this in a size small mainly because it was already, it's already kind of like oversized on its own. So I thought it would be perfect like if I wanted to wear it like this, but with like jeans or something or pants, like I love it so, so much. I'm definitely into the darker denim right now. Like I need darker denim shirts and pants and all the things. I also ordered this darker denim skirt from H&M. Huh, I should have tried on the two because I got a size four and it's a little bit big, but let's try it on. It has been super dark and gloomy and raining nonstop. So if it's dark, I'm sorry about that. So this is the skirt. Um, I definitely could do a size two, but I'll probably just keep the four just to have like a nice comfy skirt because a lot of my skirts are always tight. But I don't know if I would pair this together. I'm like looking in the mirror. I guess you could, or just like an overshirt situation. And then I just got this dark scarf, which obsessed. I saw it in New York and I should have just bought it when I went. But then I was like, well, I'll just get it at my local H&M. And it wasn't there. And three weeks later, it's there. And it wasn't online either. So I don't know what H&M is doing. Nothing. I don't know what H&M is doing. They're playing with me. But I saw so many, like the New York one had so many cute jackets that I wish I had just purchased right then and there because I can't find them online and then I can't find them in store. So I don't know if it's just like trickling down to the other H&Ms and New York just gets it first, I don't know. But anyways, I love this scarf so, so much. I'm obsessed with this wine red color. I actually ordered a couple dresses from Forever 21 that came in the mail and I'm gonna do just a whole other fall haul because I have several new pieces that I'm obsessed with. Just so you guys can see the fur coat as well, like in a full form. Ah, obsessed, I love. I probably won't even be able to wear this for like a few more months, probably till like January realistically, maybe in December um, when I go to Boston for Christmas, but I feel like I never get tired of a fur coat. Okay, so I really need to start getting dressed for my show, which I'm pretty excited about. I don't know why, but like I felt so lonely these past few days, even though Mark literally just left yesterday, but I just didn't want to be alone. You know what I mean? So I like spent the majority of my day t today and yesterday, like at the gym and then like shopping just to kind of like get out of the house because the house does get really gloomy and dreary. And like, I feel like th this main room is the only room that actually gets good lighting, thankfully. I mean, I will take it. Like I love the lighting in the master bedroom, but as far as like the, um, but in the living room, it doesn't get great lighting. It's pretty dark in there. And then like also the dining room, the kitchen gets okay lighting. So basically if I'm just, if it's too dreary, I cannot like be at home. And so Yesterday I went to a coffee shop and then I went to like TJ Maxx, mostly to just like browse around and like walk around and lollygag. I like didn't really buy too many things. Oh my God, my hair <laughs> is a poof ball. I love it. Um, I love it. I need to cut my bangs. I really need to cut my bangs, but like I love the poofy bang look so, so much. I really hope this lasts because it's been raining and it's just usually not. <laughs> 
I've been really trying to get my bangs to like stay forward, but they just don't want to do that. Hair is done. I need to get dressed, put on an outfit and head out. All right, we are ready to go. This is the outfit. I'm wearing this like faux red leather skirt that I'm obsessed with. I don't know if you can see. And then just this cute little top, little belt, little shoe moment. And I'm off to City Winery. That you heard Is this the end Or the start Of you breaking and breaking my heart Is this the greatest Or the worst Love story That you heard